What's up, guys? Mr. Schaefer back with you here. Uh, we're going back into the science of really gross things. Uh, we got grossology here. Um, we're I'm going to go to the table of contents, or the table of grossness. Gross tense is what they call it. Um, remember, we're doing text, nonfiction text features. Uh, so remember, a table of contents is listed at the beginning of the book um, that has all the chapters and the pages that you can find them on. So we're actually on the crusty, scaly things, and we're on the last one of that. Uh, we're on Tooth Tartar. Uh, we read Eye Gunk yesterday. We're on Tooth Tartar now. And if you notice what's coming next, uh, stinky, smelly things. That's the next section. Uh, which I'm sure will be nice and uh, uh, disgusting, right? Uh, so tooth tartar is what we're going for. Uh, makes my teeth feel dirty uh, even thinking about it. Let me get a little drink first. Uh, but yeah, here's the uh, here's the picture. A big old mouth on there. Um, you can see uh, bolded and colored words. That's one of our text features. You can see it's a vocab word or important important words there. We have captions that are kind of in this picture here. Um, we have illustrations. That's the drawing there. We have a title up here. Um, on the next page, um, we have more. Oh, we have an actual real photograph here. We can see an actual photograph of some nasty germs going on in this person's mouth. Um, we got a little uh, bubble over here. We got a little almost like sidebar or a uh, just little side directions over here, little things you can do. Again, more colored and bolded words that are sure important or uh, important information. Um, so yeah, uh, we're gonna keep continuing on to this, and let's see what's up with this tooth tartar. All right, the stuff that's on your teeth. All right, your mouth is a great place. It is warm and moist, and you place lots of yummy food inside. Your mouth is such a tropical paradise that many different microscopic life forms live comfortably inside. Some are round, some rod shaped. And some are little spirals. Your mouth resort is actually pretty crowded. Right now, as you sit reading this page, more than 100 million micro creatures are swimming, feeding, reproducing, and depositing waste inside that area behind your lips. So, 100 million different micro things in your mouth right now. In your mouth alone, there is more critters than there are people in Australia and Canada combined. Germ-free your mouth is not. It is the most unsanitary or the most unclean part of your whole body. Think about that the next time you kiss somebody. So your mouth is the dirtiest place on your whole body. Great. Also, think about your micro creature friend the next time you forget to brush your teeth. You could even tell your mom, Hey mom, I was trying to help out the hungry wee besties in my mouth. They need to eat too. If you succeed in not brushing for several days, you may notice a sticky layer forming over your pearly whites. You may also notice your friends are staying very far away from you. Um, so this has two little captions inside this picture. It says, Your teeth started growing three months before you were even born. So you start growing teeth like while you're inside of your mother, right? Um, and the hardest substance on your body is the enamel on your teeth. So we think about bones being hard, uh, muscles being hard, but actually the hardest thing on your body is the enamel, that covering on the outside of your teeth. Think about it. You have your teeth forever, right? I've had these teeth since I was, what, like 10 or 11 years old. You know what I mean? Like once you lose those baby teeth, those adult teeth, you have them forever. Uh, until you lose them or they get knocked out or you get them pulled out or something, right? The scum layer you feel is called plaque. Plaque is a mixture of bits of leftover food, worn out mouth cells, many bacteria, and bacteria waste. If you rub your tongue against your teeth, it feels pretty smooth. But your teeth really have tiny cracks and pits. The plaque collects in the cracks and pits as well as between your teeth. Plaque is invisible, so it's on there. Right? In between your teeth, it's all over our teeth. Uh, so that's why you got to brush and use mouthwash, right, and go to the dentist. Inspect your teeth with a mirror or inspect someone else's chompers. Look really close where your teeth meet the gums. Do you notice a yellowish or brownish stuff on some of the teeth? Hey, wait, I thought plaque was invisible. 
It is. The stuff you saw in many layers of the hardened plaque is called tartar, or scale. Tartar forms when minerals in the saliva combine with slimy plaque and cement to your teeth. Scale builds up on your teeth stony layer by a stony layer. People who don't brush their teeth a lot and don't use dental floss will have lots of scale. So, if you want lovely yellow teeth, don't brush your teeth or floss or eat lots of candy and bread and pasta. Dentists remove tartar by scraping and chiseling it off your teeth. Removing scale is called scaling. The name isn't too original, but I guess chipping, digging, and scraping rocky layers from your teeth isn't too thrilling either. Ouch. Scrape. Ouch. Yes, yeah, so when you go to the dentist and they like scrape around your gums and scrape your teeth and stuff, that's what they're scraping off, right? They're scraping off the scale on there, which is tartar and plaque buildup. That's why you need to brush your teeth. Um, this is a close-up photo. Now, look, this is a picture with a caption. So we have a picture. First of all, it's an illustration. Inside is a real photo, right? That's a real photo of germs inside of the mouth. Now, this little thing right here is the caption, right? That's a little piece of information underneath a photo. So here's what it says. This is a close-up photo of plaque, what you get when you don't brush your teeth. So that caption tells you exactly what's in the picture. That's the point of a caption. Okay, that's one of our text features. Now, we also have another little sidebar here, or a little kind of just, uh, I like the way this book does this, right? They put a little information all over the page. This one says, in 1676, a Dutch drapery maker was the first person to discover bacteria. Anton van Leeuwenhoek made magnifying lenses a hobby. One day, he decided to look at plaque scrapings from his teeth. He was probably really surprised to see to find that those tiny living things lived inside. Pretty crazy, right? Uh, so that's all about tooth tartar. Uh, and we've got plaque and scaling. Uh, all that kind of is what we, what we learned about here in our um, little uh, tooth tartar section. All right? Um, so that con concludes this section. Our next section, if I look in the table of contents, is smelly, stinky, gross things. So what do you know? Look what's coming next. Yeah. All right. Well, we are going to see uh, where that takes us next time. All right. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time with more Grossology.